Hey, welcome to That's Good Broncos. Why am I happy? Why am I in a good mood? Well, I have exciting news for everybody. I have the very good positive news for Broncos fans. You will go at least 20 years before you ever see a Broncos loss this bad again. This is, this is the worst Broncos game I think I've ever watched. I mean, they made the types of mistakes you only want to make once a game multiple times today. If, if you ever have two safeties in the same game, you know it's going to be a bad, a bad day. And they had that with the pick six, a blocked punt, an onside kick recovery going against them. We have hit rock bottom. Come to the rock for a rock bottom deal. And guess what? We're all still here. This is as bad as it can get. Right? This is as bad as it can get, right? Somebody tell me it can't get any fucking worse. Because I can live through this. We're at the bottom. The only way, the only direction the Broncos are gonna go from here is fucking up. We just need to get out of this goddamn season and then we can go back up again. But the good news is we found bottom. And you know what? It's not that bad, right? I still had beer today and a lot of food. That's good, Broncos. This episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. There's a link in the description. And yeah, I'm still getting paid to talk about the Broncos. If you use my promo code, that's good. You're gonna get $20 off your first ticket purchase. Uh, I'm guessing they'll be giving away Broncos tickets pretty soon. So you might get, you just might get $20. I like SeatGeek because you can uh, preview your seat before you buy it. They rank their ticket prices. So you know if you're getting screwed or not. Boy, do we know what that feels like lately. Seat geek. And, and the bottom, the bottom of the bottom is Julius Thomas penis fucking a football in front of our eyes. You think that wasn't a direct message to John Elway for not paying him? You see how I hump this ball, John? You see how I hump it? I hump your ball. I drink it up. Is that sexual? I know sexual celebrations aren't allowed, but is football fucking considered sexual? Way to rub it in our faces, Julius. We we built your career, and this is how you repay us. And Adam Gase, man, Adam Gase is the new Bill Belichick. The Dolphins were up 33 to, to nine, and the Dolphins kick an onside kick? Little did they know they would get another safety, but that is, that is rubbing it in your face. We are here to, we are here to fuck you up type Football. Okay, so let me uh, recap how the, the, the day went for the Broncos. It started out with the safety. High snap over Trevor Simeon's head. But then the Broncos bounced back, kicked a field goal. They had a 3-2 soccer-style lead. That was followed by a Julius Thomas touchdown and his uh, fornication with the football. Then Trevor Simeon threw a pick six, followed by Julius Thomas fornicating with the football. Chris Harris had a magical interception, followed by Julius Thomas fornicating with the football. Uh, the Broncos were driving before halftime. Uh, they had a chance to get back into the game, but momentum was killed on back-to-back -back holding calls, backing them up 20 uh, yards, and just putting them out of any opportunity to to score. I mean, some guys played pretty good throughout the day. Bradley Roby uh, had a, a strip, turned the ball over. The Broncos do nothing with it at that point. The Dolphins blocked a punt, which was followed by Julius Thomas fornicating with the fucking football. Still not out of the game though, Justin Simmons pick six, pick six for the defense, followed by fornication with the fucking football by Julius Thomas. You got me good, yeah you got me bad, and you're bad as they come boy. Uh, Trevor Simeon on the two point conversion after the Justin Simmons pick six. He just threw it away. Two point conversion, the risk is low. You can't throw the ball away there. Give your team a chance to get some points. Not that would have mattered, but that's the, the point. They're doing all the little things wrong on top of making huge mistakes and it is just spiraling out of control. Uh, after we thought maybe there was hope before our hearts were consumed in front of our faces, Dolphins scored a 42 yard touchdown pass uh, Broncos were 0 for 11 on third down conversions at one point. 
Dolphins got another pick on a tip Simeon ball by Xavier Howard. That was followed with a touchdown, a wide open uh, pass to Kenny Stills. You got me good, yeah, you got me bad. And you're bad as they come, boy. And at that point, that's when the Dolphins were up uh, 33 to nine. And Adam Gase goes for an onside kick that the Dolphins recover. They had a 24 point lead and they go for an onside kick. And before we were put out of our misery, Isaiah McKenzie lost his sixth fumble of the year eh, in the end zone for another Broncos safety, which was followed by Julius Thomas fornicating with the fucking football. I mean, Isaiah McKenzie, I don't, I, I'm at a loss for trying to defend or, or, or help the guy out. It's just bad play after bad play. And like I said, the, the, the mistakes that happened today, three interceptions for the Broncos, one was a pick six, uh, two safeties, a blocked punt, onside kick recovered by the Dolphins. Those are teams, those are mistakes that if a team makes two of in a game are lucky to win. And the, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's the worst football I've seen the Broncos play. But to, to try to keep this somewhat positive, I, I'm gonna hand out, as suggested on Twitter, uh, normal dick player awards for guys who played pretty good in a terrible loss. I'm talking about Chris and Shelby Harris, both played pretty well. Like I said, Harris had a pick. Shelby had a sack and a big run stop for a loss. Uh, Bradley Roby played pretty well. Justin Simmons, close. He did have the pick six, but also kind of got burned for a touchdown. Von Miller had a, a sack, I believe. CJ Anderson, I think was the only offensive player to play pretty good football, but he was surrounded by a you know, the offense playing bad, not just Simeon. Again, Demarius Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders did not look good today. good today. They each had a couple drops. Trevor was hit well over 10 times on the day. So like I said, some average, normal, some normal dick awards go out to some of the defensive guys, but huh, I don't know how they bounce back from this. Uh, and I'm going to bring in my Broncos insider right now to give you a very bold prediction. My bold prediction is Vance Joseph is out as Broncos head coach, effective tomorrow morning at the latest, because Vance has proven time and time again that he's just not ready for a job as a head coach in this league, especially this team. Countless mistakes all year, poor judgment. How does Isaiah McKenzie still have a job? How does Brock Olivo still have a job? Some of this has to fall on somebody I think it needs to fall on the shoulders of Vance Joseph. He is out as the Broncos head coach. Thank you, Mike. That is a bold prediction. If Vance does get canned, which could happen at this point, does Eric Studisville come back in as interim head coach? Could the Broncos be the first team to have the same head coach be an interim head coach twice? Has that ever happened? Has, an, has one team ever had the same interim head co coach twice? Has one team ever given up two safeties in the same game? I mean, we can set some pretty shitty records this season if we put our minds and hearts to it, Broncos. We can do the unthinkable. We could set terrible records. This episode is also sponsored by BetDSI. There's a link in the description, betdsi.com, one of the best sports books out there. If you use my code GOOD25, they're gonna give you $25 free to wager however you want. That's free money to bet on football, college football, basketball, whatever freaking sport you're interested in gambling on, you can do it at betdsi.com. And again, that's Good 25 gives you $25 to try it. So you li you literally lose and risk nothing with the possibility of gaining everything or just slightly more money. Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Broncos. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, share these videos on Facebook if you want. I guess I don't even care if you do. It's like, what's the point of sharing misery with the world? Are we making the world a better place by sharing our fucking misery. That's, that's my question.